I am going to be showing you the best tips on how to make way more honey than you are making right now. And this was done with the help of people like Fragile Silence. So make sure to watch till the end to not miss out on any of the tips. Right, and before I do actually say anything, make sure you have all your buffs on, such as the Nectars, the Snowflake buff whenever it's here, the Mondo Chicken macro for stingers every 10 seconds if red or white honey and also resetting twice before you boost so your bees are full HP health whatever it is oh yeah energy so they don't go to sleep mid boost and everything else but this video is mostly about boosting but yeah let's actually start with the blue hive so for the blue hive there are two different types of boosts sort of and I will be showing you both of them so here's the first one, how to get a big balloon blessing and how to actually boost with blue to make a lot of honey. First, let's start with the blue balloon blessing boost. You want to remove bees like the shocked bee, ninja bee if you have one, cool bee, one music bee to have three in total, the gummy bee, yes, only if you can actually afford to get it back gifted, and the bubble bee. And once you have done that, you want to add the puppy bee in with the puppy be reindeer antlers if you have them if you don't have that bee quip don't worry about adding the puppy bee and just add a buoyant bee instead so you want to basically just replace all the bees that you removed with buoyant bees and they don't have to be gifted as well and remember to re-equip your bee quips after you do this by the way so you have more capacity because you're gonna go in the field without like the snow tiara and stuff then if possible try and get a guiding star in whatever blue field you're doing the boost in so do pine tree most of the time unless you're actually doing an own guide somewhere else and after you've done that make sure you have your fuzzy tadpole out in the field pollinating and place it somewhere decently close to you but not too close so it doesn't take all your bubbles like i don't know like here for example there's pretty good space for it in the middle and make sure to have a pretty good balloon blessing when you are boosting yourself too as well for this boost to have as much capacity so your balloons have as much capacity as they can really as well now once everything is good you have to basically be in this corner mostly and just building up your blessing so literally just boosting there for like a couple minutes like this getting all your balloons up with the pop star on nice could have an alt account or friend on an alt account at the hive without its hive claimed watching your balloon to see how big it is and then once you notice that your balloon starts to deflate a lot with that alt account or friend on the account that's on it you should use the balloons so the black balloon the white balloon and whatever you want really when you get a surprise party would be nice to have a pop star then too by the way but once you fill up the balloons just go to get a honey mask over here then just use the whirly giggy to get back to your hive and you're just converting and you're good and remember if you guys still need help and you guys still are unsure on what to do let me know in the comments and i'm just going to respond to you there but now for the actual normal boost what you would want to do is basically boost in the same corner with the same hive but do like three pop stars and don't pop no balloons from your inventory for this and after those Three pop stars just go and get the honey mask again whirly giggy to hive convert the balloon and you would just have to repeat that for however much time you want and remember to refresh your mondo boost super smoothie field dice and everything since the problem usually is your dice because you have to hit the blue field booster and stuff also gotta do your planters every hour to not lose nectar but if you guys are actually you know not feeling that much as well because i don't know maybe your ssa isn't the best make sure to keep at least one of the bees that you removed like for example you can remove tabby bee as well by the way i did forget about that you can remove tabby bee as well but if it gets bad and you're not filling really just make sure to just add some bees and just remove them after unless you're filling again but now 
for the white hive. So I am assuming once again that your hive and everything is good with all the buffs on. So first of all, what you're going to do is have a brain. And next at the start of your boost, have your fuzzy ult of course. But this time I have like four more players without a hive claim with gummy mask, gum dropping, using jelly beans, timing the gummy bear morph for you and having the supreme sprinkler down. Then as well, this is actually for both red as well, using glitter on the field you're going to boost in, which is determined by the winds usually, but can still boost windless, even as white hive if your wind shrine isn't available. Waiting about 30 seconds until you use your loaded dice so that you can glitter to maintain the 4x in the middle of your boost. And now this is more of the white hive stuff again so you want to have a goo conversion on shell by the way that's like mandatory you will want to stretch out your vector b triangles as you guys see like this well not the best example but sure watching your baller stack as it goes up to 999 when your baller releases itself into that ball you want to release it over precise marks or in the best area where it will reach the max goo combo then you should also use the precise targets as token links like this for example as you guys see go this and it claims everything or you can just go to one single one and it gets that too but make sure to also save the digital b smiley for whenever you get a good lineup and since we are talking about the digital b make sure to also have as much white drives and all the drives possible on and then i think that should be everything for now for the white hive so let's get into the red hive right once again let's assume you're going to have everything on your hive is good the b quips and everything like that you know some tips are already sort of said in the white hive as you guys heard before so firstly you want to obviously have the fuzzy ult and people helping you with ult like with white hive but it's not as much as a demand with the people to drop you goo so if you can't find anyone you'll be good anyway but at least you no know, have an alt account yeah that's like mandatory as well and at least have people dropping you jelly beans with once again having a couple buoyant bees on the alt since the balloons give pollen buff when you stand under them so with you know the white hive on that alt account but now whenever you are outside of the scorching star so you know whenever you don't have the scorching star you want to do stuff like this making sure you maintain precision focus and the red boost try and get as much red boost as possible to activate your scorching star as many times as you can whilst still being mindful about timing with the x flame try and time your scorches with your x flame if your scorch is about to activate go for all the targets to get focus tokens to charge your x flame and vice versa if your x flame is closer to being done then scorch activate precise marks when your scorch is about to go off if you see a dupe bear morph save it during the scorching star and making sure that all your flames that appear on the field are purple to get the dark flame like you want your flame heat to be maximum the entire time then during the scorching star so you know whenever you get the scorching star you want to do stuff like this before going for any targets go for a scorch star of about 6k in magnitude which should be one single x flame don't get hit by any of your precise targets since it will eat all your flame heat once your scorch is big enough go for as many targets as you can whilst still maintaining the 10x red boost and once again if you can time your dark heat using the scythe when you see a lot of precise tokens swing your scythe on a lot of flames so that you get the dark heat bonus while you activate the targets and if you see a dupe bear morph activate it now and claiming the smiley tokens if there's a system of marks underneath it and there's a lot of duped tokens on the field so yes that is all of the tips for now. If you guys are still struggling though, let me know in the comments. I'm going to help you as much as I can. But yeah, for now, thank you to Fragile Silence and LC Ice Fire Dog for actually helping with the White Hive and the Red Hive tips. But yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching and bye!